Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Taylor has a heated argument with Sheila, and Hope informs Deacon of what he did. Deacon is taken aback when Hope brings up Sheila Carter at Il Gergino. I know what you did to her, she says. You do? Deacon inquires, concerned. Hope says as the waiter, Lil Nas X, refills their water, helping Bill and Ridge send Sheila back to prison. Hope continues, it took a lot of bravery to do what Deacon did. As the busboy carrying an armload of breadsticks, played by James Corden, looks at them. We might not have to worry about Sheila Carter again. That nine-toed weirdo is finally in jail, where she should have been all along. Deacon claims he did it for the sake of their family. The busboy goes by again, munching on a breadstick, as the waiter takes their order. Hope goes on to remark that it must have been simple for Deacon to pretend to be Sheila's buddy when he knows all the horrific things she's done to people they love and care about. She only wishes she could have been there when Sheila's face fell as she realized she had no one on her side. According to Deacon, it was genuinely quite sad. Are you serious? Wonders Hope. Deacon clarifies that she is merely human. He could see the woman's entire existence shattered right in front of her eyes. Hope refers to him as a softy and wonders if Sheila thought she could trust him. Sheila flashes back to Deacon preventing Bill and Ridge from fleeing. She shakes her head, leaning against the bars of her jail. Taylor and Carter travel to Forrester, where they join forces with Bill to take down Sheila. Taylor is on her way to the design office to meet with Bill. Carter claims Katie is in there and offers to accompany her. Taylor tells him that she will be fine on her own. Bill tells Katie he wants to meet her and asks for one more opportunity in the design office. Taylor answers the door and walks in. Bill suggests that they go on a short trip together. Taylor inquires, where to? To prison, Bill responds. I'm going to see Sheila. Taylor is taken aback. Sheila smiles in jail as she fantasizes about slow dancing with Deacon in Il Garbino. When the guard appears, he says, You know the drill. Sheila inquires, What's going on? Someone wants to see her, according to the guard. Bill explains at the design office that he wants Taylor to have the opportunity to confront Sheila. Katie believes it's a fantastic idea and advises her to go ahead with it. Bill apologizes for giving her the impression that he was blackmailing her. Taylor is the one who is apologizing. She should never have done what she did to him. Bill explains that he made a deal with the government and wants Taylor to forget about it. Taylor appreciates his efforts and thanks him. They embrace. Bill casts a glance towards Katie. Taylor believes she has something to say to Sheila and inquires, How soon can we see her? Bill has already called and scheduled it. Katie thinks he has a lot of faith in his persuasive abilities. Taylor goes outside to wait, and Bill informs Katie that he will return later. As hard as he worked to imprison Sheila, Bill try much harder to reclaim his family, his Katie. Carter later joins Katie in the design studio, where they canoodle and kiss. Bill was with her earlier, he says. Carter isn't surprised because it's no secret that he wants her back. Katie inquires if this upsets him. Carter believes it is natural for him to want his life back. Any man would, he continues. Katie kisses him and purrs. Hope is still celebrating Sheila's departure from their lives at Il Giardino. She goes through the madwoman's recent offenses and proclaims her insane. There is no doubt about it, Deacon says, nodding. Nobody compares to Sheila Carter. When Bill and Taylor enter into the interrogation room at the jail, Sheila requests the guard to take her back to her cell. Bill tells her she has no option and the guard walks away. Isn't this an ironic pairing? Sheila giggles. The victim and his assailant. Katie has informed Carter that Bill and Taylor have gone to confront Sheila. Carter speculates that she nearly lost her daughter and must have a lot on her mind. Katie and Carter praise Bill for putting Sheila in jail. Carter wonders if Bill's actions have impacted Katie's opinion of him. Sheila worries if Bill is in the jail to check on her after her heart attack. 
She was such a fool to think he could be kind and nice. She was sure he loved her, and she felt noticed and welcomed. But it was all a ruse to throw her back in jail. Bill smirks, implying that she isn't such a moron after all. She understands. Sheila Taylor, calls what as he a psychiatrist, did. must be aware of this. Taylor tells Sheila that she is shooting Steffi and Finn in order to rescue herself. You're shooting your own son down an alley. According to Sheila, it was an accident. Taylor charges, because you intended to kill my daughter. That's why it happened by chance. You almost took both parents away from Hayes, whom you claim to adore. However, you can only love yourself. She can only love those who can help her. Until she can't. You enjoy scaring people. It empowers you and makes you feel alive. Because you know deep down that you're insignificant. You'll be locked up here for the rest of your life thanks to Bill and Ridge. You nearly stole my kid away from me and everyone who cares about her. You didn't do it, thank God. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Your name will never be uttered again after today. Anne Hayes will have no idea you lived or walked the earth. Sheila Carter's name will mean nothing to my family, and you will be forgotten, forever. Sheila is honest with Deacon. R.J. Forrester returns from Europe. According to the bold and the beautiful B and B, spoilers, Joshua Hoffman will make his debut as an R.J. Forrester recast. So expect R.J. to return home from Europe for a reunion with all of his loved ones. R.J. is a member of both the Logan and Forrester clans because his parents are Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, and Ridge Forrester, Thorsten K. R.J.'s family connections, particularly his connection to Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, will undoubtedly play a key role in his return arc. A brother feud is on the horizon, and it will be interesting to see how Thomas and R.G. handle the tension. Meanwhile, while Deacon Sharp's seen Kanan, prison visit continues, Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, will have a confession to make. Deacon hopes Sheila doesn't hate him after betraying him, but she'll surprise him by admitting she still loves him a lot. Sheila will understand why Deacon felt compelled to safeguard his connection with Hope Spencer, Annika Noel, and may even concede that she would have done the same in his shoes. Regardless, Sheila will not blame Deacon for turning against her in the end and will presumably declare her love. Thus, Deacon will be relieved that he did not destroy their link. While Sheila is being truthful with Deacon, Bill Spencer, Don Diamond, will press Katie Logan, Heather Tom, to take him back. Although Bill hopes Katie still loves him and is willing to resume a life with him, it won't be that easy. Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor, have been pressing Katie to recall the sorrow of the past after Bill repeatedly let her down. Carter may tell Bill directly on Friday's B and B episode that Katie deserves better. Katie, on the other hand, is clearly not ready to jump back into Bill's arms. Bill will have to deal with Katie's rejection for the time being, but he may be correct about her profound love and desire for him. Will Bill's perseverance pay out in the long run? Time will tell, but Bill will keep updating his plan and hoping for the reunion news he's been hoping for. For the time being, the bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that Katie may be shaken by Bill and how he still makes her feel. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.